Good morning. So it's almost 6.30 on Saturday, November 5th, 2022, on the East Coast of the United States. So I received my order for the Virtuo Infinitely Fruity Raspberry Flavor. I've already reviewed a couple of times the Infinitely Fruity Raspberry Flavor for the original line machine. So here you can see, this is the original line. This is the Virtuo. This is an espresso, 1.35 ounces. This makes an almost eight ounce cup of coffee. So I've read the descriptions of these two. And what's interesting to me is the original line says, okay, let me read. It says that this has South American Arabica coffees. But this, the Vertuo one, says Latin American and African Arabicas. So they're both supposed to have the same kind of raspberry flavor in a coffee with cereal notes. And let's see here. Um, what kind of raspberry flavor with other natural flavors, okay, in the Virtuo one, okay, and in the original line, raspberry flavor with other natural flavors. So, okay, of course, you know, we don't know how those are the same or different or whatever. So, this morning, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, by the way, it says for both of them that they are good with a dash of milk. Now, I'm going to start this going here. You might remember that this one, I was amazed with not only the fragrance of raspberry that came right out from it, but the flavor, oh my gosh, it was so good. I immediately bought a few more sleeves for the original line. But now I'm going to try the Virtuo and see how that tastes and smells. You know, what's funny is when I was doing the original line, I was standing away from it. Oh my gosh, I smell raspberry. Oh, and this morning my nose is a little stuffy. Gee whiz. Well, let's see if it comes through anyway. Yes, yes, I can smell the raspberry. Oh my goodness, it's exciting. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and let this fill up. Give it a stir. <clears throat> let's see. You get a little, oh, I'm getting a little hoarse here. And, um... I'll see how it tastes like that. And then I'll add a dash of milk to it. Oh, th this is exciting. If this Virtuo tastes as good as the original line did, oh my gosh, I know that I'm going to be purchasing a bunch more Virtuo sleeves for when I want a nice big cup of raspberry coffee. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Now, I think it's interesting. I read, you know, I looked up in several places um, about these two coffees, and always with the Virtuo. It's got the African and Latin American Arabicas, and always on the original line one, it just lists South American Arabicas. So, but, you know, when they're adding flavoring, to the coffee. In this case, it's natural flavors. Um, to a certain extent, the kind of coffees they use, um, I'm not going to say don't matter, but maybe don't make as much of a difference as if it was just coffee without flavoring, right? Okay, so taste this. I taste the raspberry. Okay, so are you going to say to me, 
Are you gonna make also one on the virtu on the original line? Oh golly, I might. Let's let me taste it. You know what? I'm going to have to make one of these because my memory of the... Let me get a towel up here. Yes, I do. Okay. My memory of the flavor and how it struck me, I'm not sure. I'm not getting a lot of raspberry, and I thought I did with the original line, but... I'll go ahead and, you know, do both of them. Also, to be fair, my nose is a little stuffy this morning. So, you know, I don't want to give the Vertuo an unfair judgment compared to the original line. Okay, my machine is heating up here. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to say this, the raspberry fragrance coming off of the original line is, I like the smell of raspberry. Here, let me stir this up and try it. I was going to say that it's kind of clearer and more fruity, but, okay, I'll give this a try. Okay, to me, the raspberry fragrance coming off of the espresso is stronger. Consequently, I believe that when I'm tasting it, I feel as though I'm tasting more raspberry. Oh, it's not bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let me say this. If all you want is an espresso, get the one for the original line. If you want a big cup, get the one for the Vertuo. If you're fortunate enough to have both machines, let me get some milk. Um, no, I did not buy two machines. I, I started with the Vertuo, which I bought, and then some coffee friends that I made on Facebook who I've never met, but how lovely. They were getting a new original line machine they sent me their old original line machine. Isn't that wonderful? So I was open to trying now a whole new world of original line coffees. Oh my goodness. And I fell in love. Okay, I'll mix this. All right, I'll try this one first. It's just real, it's really nice. Okay, so this is my verdict. I prefer the original line raspberry. However, sometimes I want a big cup of coffee in which case the Virtuo will be my coffee of choice. So, here, can we see all of these? Okay, original line, Virtuo. I guess I'm gonna have to say that if you like raspberry, 
I think you would like either, whoops, either one of these. Um, if you have both machines, you might want to go ahead and buy both of them. So, um, hey, that was a quick review, wasn't it? Um, I actually think that I would like them more with frothed milk. Well, I've got several boxes of each. Obviously, I'll have an opportunity to give that a try. Well, okay, so all right, told you what day and date and time it was. So it's like 64 degrees here. It's supposed to go up to 85. So I'm wearing shorts today. <laughs> Oh, eventually we'll get fall here. Oh, and by the way, remember to set your clocks back tonight before you go to bed. Like if you go to bed at 10 p.m., put your clock at 9 p.m., okay? Or else tomorrow, what will happen tomorrow? Will you be early for everything or late? So if you have to be somewhere at seven and you didn't, and it's really six, you'll be an hour early. So, uh, yeah, set your clocks back tonight. Did I get that right? It confuses me every year. Well, anyway, okay, I'm going to go enjoy my coffees.